Hi and welcome back. I am I Flop and this is a Heroes of the Storm commentary of one of my own games. Now, let's see. I'm playing as Taranda. Um, they've got Chogal. They've got their medic, uh, Lieutenant Morales. They've got the Butcher and they've got Leoric. We have Taranda, Kerrigan, Cinnamon Bear, um, Tychus, Nova, and Leoric. So we've got three assassins, a support, and a warrior. They have an assassin, a warrior, a support, another assassin, I think the butcher is an assassin, and a warrior. Um, so theirs looks like a slightly more balanced team. Um, what we're going to be watching here is there is a little bit of tussling up here. Um, we kind of almost, I consider grouping up, but then I just stick to my lane, stick to my lane. Tychus down here, uh, does impressively well on his own with the threat of the Butcher backed up by Morales. Um, up here, Leoric does a good job of pushing the lane, uh, despite being basically 2v1. Not too much of a problem for him. Here, Shogal gets bullied by Kerrigan and Leoric, an excellent combo, um, and barely escapes with his life. Uh, there, I totally whiff my uh, Lunar Flare. I thought I was going to hit everyone, uh, because, you know, it can be a little more generous, but it doesn't. Both Leoric's going for reanimation, uh, Nova for ambush snipe, Tychus armor piercing rounds. Kerrigan siphoning impact, uh, Ranger's March for myself, so I can use Ranger's March with a decreased cooldown. Uh, their Butcher goes Hamstring, uh, Cho goes Blazing Bulwark mixed with Shadow Flare. Shadow Flare is an excellent choice for Gaul. Uh, feedback loop for Morales, uh, and Blazing Bulwark, uh, we already did that, Invigoration. So, um, here we go after these objectives, we score a couple of hits. They will dominate us for objectives for about half the game. Um, we get the Lunar Stun. I was hoping to time it with the boss's attack. Uh, unfortunately, no one goes in pretty deep for a not kill. And Leoric wails on her a bit, but uh, Leoric doesn't have the damage potential. I was testing the waters to see if I could get this, but I noticed that the big guy was alive and that wasn't going to be possible. Uh, Tychus and the Butcher are having fun down here. So far, uh, Cho'Gal got blown up and uh, probably contesting this uh, top temple, uh, which is the first kill, first two kills of the match. Um, and then a little bit of a uh, XP advantage. Actually, we're a level ahead, so more than a little. Uh, however, Alright, I manage an okay stun and I do the game. Kerrigan gets wasted. The Switcher. Yeah, yeah. Like the thing. Find that. Leoric. And we support. Well, now we're at three kills ahead. Um, a whole level ahead. Uh, we're not even six. They just made five. And we can secure this temple. Their Leoric is standing around. Um, we are the red team. I didn't mention that already. Um, so we... we get a little scattered. Our Nova is out of mana. I'm low on mana. They are just low on mana. And they come in with pretty uh, cohesive team here. We're just forced to run and die. Um, he goes after me. I put the uh, Hunter's Mark on him and deal a little bit of damage. But then I wander out through the gate and die. Um, and I might have got away if something about how I was clicking hadn't caused me to go backwards. But uh, that happened. So now they're only one kill behind. Um, they are not even a half level behind us in XP. And they're gonna crush the walls of this fort um, for relatively little problem as uh, Tychus 
simply cannot out damage Morales in this scenario, especially on Leorg. So uh, our team is all fully revived. We're grouping up in the center. I pop a Sentinel, it whips everyone, even though it goes kind of through the middle of a bunch of people. Um, and we group up to fight for the next um, temple. Surrounded, laying the sun is there on um, the York. Uh, we get really good damage on him, but with Morales there, uh, it's not going to last. And his sippy cup is ready, so he's going to be at full power when everything goes down. So we, we all stay grouped up. So Gaul is up here working on this tower by himself, which is definitely something he can do. Um, but we are wasting his team down here. Uh, we're now three kills ahead, uh, but still only a quarter level at most, um, thanks to their uh, tower crushing. Okay, so the temple, the bottom temple gets activated. We were spreading out. We come, we condense back in, collapse on this temple objective. Uh, we're still level eight. Here I try and help Leoric get that uh, region globe, as I have checked his trait, and I know he wants it. Um, as well as push that wave, um, so that it'll make controlling the simple even nastier. You can use 100 mark on these uh, minions, and it's totally worth it, especially if you have to reduce cooldown. This is simple. I'm in the back here where I really shouldn't be, um, and so it's all pressed down top of me. I just get crushed. I do have protective shield, which I use, uh, and my heal, so I do okay, uh, but they do rack up quite a few kills here. Uh, Leon goes too deep, past the gates, not sure if he knew he could do that. Tychus and Leoric, uh, our Leoric, wipe him out. Uh, can't chase that Tychus dude, you always be chasing Tychus. So we're harassing them, but with Morales backing them up, Leoric like does get blown away. Tyke is barely surviving uh, that hold by by tapping dust. <laughs> um, I I whip the stun. Just trying to slow him down, deal a little bit of damage. Uh, it really isn't that great of an idea. Tyke is hard to back. Kerrigan, uh, Cinnamon Bear, is working the tower behind us. Uh, so we're just trying to keep him busy. We get trapped in the tomb. Uh, it's not enough. I use the protective shield on myself. I try to get some heals to help crit, but I believe Leoric bites it here. Uh, Leoric bites it for the rest of us. Uh, I whiff a stun again because that's how Taronda is played. I think. Um, they get wise to Kerrigan, they blow her up and they take a couple for themselves, dealing additional power damage. So we're down a fort now. Um, they blow a uh, uh, weave. Oh, that was a false joke. Gay Tychus. Nice. Joe wastes his ult. We are all at 10 now. And um, we are coming. Yeah. Our ults are all ready, except for Maelstrom Kerrigan. I'm wandering around here, kind of waiting for a good chance. I don't use my ult yet, because they haven't really hit their team. Now, I see Kerrigan capture them, uh, and I think Starfall. We catch the Butcher. Um, we catch Cho. Oh, Cho uh, he actually gets away. Now, look at that. Oh, I nailed him with the Sentinel. He was down to just a sliver of health. Less than 100 health. Um, we cannot seal the deal. Maybe if they already had done the creepy walk. Um, I could have died there if uh, Show had been up on his uh, explosions, but I tried to sidestep that. Um, here we are in incredibly low health. I'm like, no, Cinnamon Bear, no, not to me. Um, I can't get a heal on her, and then I start getting focused by the tower. Too far away. So it's now 9 to 12 kills, but they're ahead on objectives, putting us exactly even in XP-wise. Um, and our Tychus has to pull back. I'm at like zero health. They are all up on me. The Butcher is chasing. I whiff a stun somehow, or he's relentless. I think I just whiffed it. 
Um, but uh, he does blow me away. Artaicus gets away once again with minimal health. Kerrigan always pushing the limits. She's in there with her maelstrom. Uh, can't focus her down too fast. And uh, then they do. Uh, maelstrom, not, I mean, nice damage, decent shielding, but not enough to withstand uh, any uh, serious attackers, especially someone like the Butcher. So here we decide which shrine to go for. Uh, we choose top. Um, if they choose to go bottom, then we're going to have to go Gaul all to ourselves. We can't handle sustained damage, especially if he's coming up. He's going to go after Tychus pretty hard. Tychus is wily. Um, I, want, I should get a heal on Tychus. Alright, here we see sneakiness. Togo goes for a punch. Get to again. Um, Burn a heal. Shielding myself. I'm backing away. Back away. Uh, our whole team is low. Uh, and we kill Chogall. Then uh, the Witcher comes in after the orc. Like, worst target ever. Um, I get blown up by him. Tychus blows him up. Nova. Where is Nova? Nova's hiding in the bushes. Uh, so we've got a couple assassins in the in the bushes. Um, she steps up on Morales and blows her health away. Um, and then she single-handedly hunts down Morales. Uh, with auto attacks, no less. Uh, at the cost of her own life. Leor kills her, she kills Morales. Now this, I think, turned out to be pretty important, as there is a half minute until um, Morales is back, and we are uh, on this temple objective. Um, this is the big turning point of this match. Um, Chogal moves in unassisted as our team collapses here. That's not a good idea. I score a simple call away from so that happening. Um, we, he blows, uh, Cho blows his ult a little early, I think. Okay, uh, so the Entomb, the Starfall falls behind them on their retreat path, and Leoric is pulling up Cho. Uh, we secure a six-kill lead here and the temple, uh, and that is certainly where the game turns around. We're... Uh, about a full level ahead at this point. Um, this temple is going to blow down uh, their forts. Um, and now we are evened up on forts. So that uh, starfall there, very proud of that, turned out really well. Um, we did blow up more than half their team. Um, and then we start murking to uh, keep the pressure on while we do other things. Lyric begins murking over here. They're not the best uh, at fighting mercenaries, uh, but uh, he can do work over time. So uh, I come over to help and to heal because it's nice to have full health with Lyric. I have been playing his hand quite a bit and I do enjoy it. Okay, Artaicus once again skirting death. Um, but Lyric is there and comes around against the Butcher, so it's high. And we blow up the Butcher. This is where we just start rolling out of control. Um, I'm going to turn the speed up. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, we've got incoming minions, double C2. They're going to wipe that pretty fast, um, but it's going to take up their time while we take down the boss. Um, Kerrigan is pushing it to the limit. We grab this boss, and then we merc again. There's some question as to where to merc. Um, Kerrigan wants to go here. Cinnamon Bear really wants these mercs. We opt to go for the closer ones, I think? Oh no, we go for the temple. And then we go for the closer mercs, and then the further mercs. And this creates an interesting, like, consistent pressure on the top lane, instead of one big wave, that I think was actually harder for them to deal with. Alright, I launched my Sentinel. It tags Morales. Uh, I could see them because the minions up there, and I figured I could hit them. Here, uh, I'm proud of this, I think. So I stun them. He mounts up. I hit him with a Sentinel to slow him down. I'm just buying us time. Uh, Leor gets into position. There, Leor is stunned. It's back in place. It's time for another team fight. And this is when, boom, Starfall, multiple holes. Uh, the Switcher cannot stand within Starfall. 
all so long. We need to show golf and we burn them down again, securing our 12 kill lead, um, leaving only Morales on the board for the next uh, 35 seconds. Um, and we totally crush. All right, so back into faster mode. Learch is collecting orbs as he should. Um, we disagree on which which uh, one to take. Kerrigan goes up and she's like, eh, and sticks with us. Um, so they were fighting back minions. Um, we secure these guys. I can't catch three of them. I have true shot aura, so that's helping Pike us out unbelievably, um, as well as uh, I don't deal paltry damage myself, but that 15% increase in damage aura uh, does affect all allies, minions or otherwise. There, we hit the stun. I think we hit everyone that time, actually. Tychus, of course, just doing damage. We capture this one. Uh, so, the way this works out for us is they wiped out this one crew early. Uh, but then this crew comes in while they have to go somewhere else. We capture these mercs. Focusing on each in which they get killed by Nova's orbital strike, my starfall. Oh, oh, and uh, oh God, I was wishing I had signal and cooldown there, but we used it all up. Uh, we do have this brutal wave coming in up here. We've got serious wave. Uh, serious push happening with these mercenaries, and then we're going to go for these shrines. Um, they are obviously doomed at this point. They've got two forts left. We are 15 kills ahead, and only Leoric is left standing to fight off these mercenaries. Uh, he's got pretty good merc damage, especially if he goes for the renewed swing so that he can shoot twice, but he's actually going to die to these mercenaries. Um, that's how bad it is. Now we've got uh, two, um, Tychus noticed, our Tychus noticed that. We've got two towers blowing them away. We actually have 30% damage on their core from the shrines alone. Um, and they are just in some serious trouble. We group up, we push. Um, I don't believe this is a very effective push. We just kind of wander. I realize I'm horrifically positioned and that they will crush me if they come in on me. Um, I just put around. I managed to get not creamed by the bread bomb. They go three up here against Leoric. Um, while we go for another boss. Um, them chasing Leoric around. Leoric does a good job of kind of hiding them. And we blow this boss down before they can get here. Um, you know, the heals and such. And this boss push um, is going to be the end. Kerrigan's soaking them. The heal on her. The heal on her. She gets blown up anyway. Soon goes down. Not so effective. Starfall goes down. Um, Leoric does get loaded up by some Starfall. Cho sits there and loses half his health to Starfall and Tychus's uh, death beam. And um, there are only Cho and Gaul here when our boss shows up at their core. And uh, let me tell you, you know this is the end. They are not going to get back in time. They're so dead. Cho makes a good move of it. Of course, he's possible. Our hunter's mark on it does him no favors. And the boss, uh, yeah. Their Nexus dies before we can even blow down his health. Um, we end up two levels ahead at the end. Um, and I think a pretty successful match. A little back and forth. They definitely were ahead on forts, but behind on kills uh, for most of the game. And not far behind on kills. So it was nice and even level-wise. Uh, but once we got our ults, uh, we really started to blow them up. Uh, I think they did get their ults first, and they did push us out of a shrine, beat us up, take a uh, keep. But um, up here, when the f I landed some really excellent starfalls that I think blew away the team. Uh, so I'm pretty proud of that play. Uh, but all together, we coordinated quite well. Our team stayed together. We took objectives. Um, 
and after we blew them away once they started to lose it and we blew them away again and then it was just all over so uh thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it uh we'll be doing more commentary i tried to record this video but i i kept being quiet and just mumbling into the microphone like uh chogal morales die uh so i decided to do a commentary over it and uh if you like this kind of uh, Heroes of the Storm play, please let me know. Here, I'm going to bring up the talents so you can look at them for your own edification. Um, and uh, if you, uh, yeah, yeah, let me know if you want to see more of this kind of commentary. I can also do it with Levy uh, sometimes, uh, where we can co-commentate on matches. Uh, we're going to work on that. So, uh, yeah, do look forward to it. Let me know if this is what you want. And until next time, remember that it's all downhill from here.